Let me see this thing. Where in the world did you get these? These are wonderful. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. Sweet. This is an iconic piece of history. It'll go down in history for hundreds of years. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I brought in something I thought maybe you'd be interested in. What do you have? Got a $30 bill made by the United States. Let me see this thing. Absolutely. This looks like a $20 bill to me. It does. And that looks like a 10. Now it looks like a $10 bill. <laughs> So this one's from 1974. Those were the last ones made. So what happened? There was just an error on the on the printing press or something? Yeah, exactly. They put the backs first, and they let them dry overnight. And then instead of printing the front with a 10, they accidentally slipped those in, and they printed the front with a 20. How much are you looking to get? I guess I'm looking for 35000 on this. Whew. That's a lot of money for 30 bucks. It is. <laughs> I'd like to call someone in and kind of get their opinion on what it is and what they think about it. Sure, fair enough, let's do it. This bill is series 1974. When they were discovered, I believe the Fed came in, they heard about them and retrieved as many as they could. But two, around 2000, I'd say maybe 26, 27, uh, escaped. So how much do you think this is worth? 30 and 40,000. How about 27.5? I think if I offer you 22,000, I think there's enough room in there for me to make the profit that I need to make. I just can't go below 25,000. All right. Take Thanks care. so much. My pleasure. Yep, thank thank you. you. Well, I have some bills that I had in my safe deposit box I'm looking at selling. We have an 1875 $1 bill. Uh, this one, too. This is an 1883 round back five. Get it? It's got the brown back. Where in the world did you get these? My Aunt Margaret gave them to me. And my Aunt Margaret was the granddaughter of the treasurer of the United States back in the 1800s. And, and was he allowed just to be handing out money, or? <laughs> <laughs> well, the interesting thing I noticed about this bill is the serial number. Look, at it's number one. Yeah, that's really cool, actually. There is a few condition issues with it. You see the holes in the face? Yeah, I think I probably put it on my bulletin board <laughs> when I was younger. That's hilarious if that's what you did. <laughs> so how much are you looking to get? I'm looking for 29000 for the $1 bill and 16000 for the $5 bill. I'm going to have to call in somebody who knows a little bit more than I do. Okay. I got a, it looks like a misprinted or a first print brown back, and this is serial number one. These are wonderful. This is an iconic piece of history. This is serial number one. This was the beginning years of the United States currency as opposed to all of the banks issuing their own separate currency. What do you think they're worth? The fact that this is serial number one is everything. The bill with the number one serial number is, in my opinion, worth $15,000 retail. And the Ashland Brownback is worth 5000 retail. You heard what my expert had to say, and I'm comfortable offering $16,000. 22? No, I can't go that high. So that's your final offer, 16 for both? 16 five, yeah. Yeah, I can't take that. You want to sell just the $5 bill for $4,000? I will take your offer of $4,000 for the $5 bill. All right, cool. I've got a $5 New Zealand note here signed by Ed Hillary. Sweet. As you probably know, Ed Hillary was the first person to climb Mount Everest. He's uh -huh. the only live person to actually put on a uh, New Zealand note. So how much you want for it? So I'd like 250 I think it's a fair price. Can I give you two and a quarter? Could you split the difference? 235 Done. OK, deal. Perfect. Check this out. You have a piece of a $20 bill. It is a piece of a $20 bill from the D.B. Cooper hijacking. He jumped out of a 727 in November of 1971 with $200,000. This is cool. The only hijacking never solved. It was 1971. There was a plane flight. He gave the stewardess a note saying he had a bomb. He demanded a parachute and $200,000 in cash. They landed, gave him what he wanted, took back off, and he jumped out. Exactly. It's the only unsolved hijacking in world history. No trace of D.B. Cooper's ever been found, and he could be sitting on a beach someplace. Nobody knows exactly what happened. It'll go down in history for hundreds of years. How much do you want? I really want $2,000. Some of the larger fragments go for way more money than that. I'm thinking like 1000 bucks. 1800 was going to be my lowest. How about 1500 bucks? I really got to have 1700. Rick, go ahead and split it at 1600. 1600 is a little low. No, it's not. That's what we can pay. All right. All right. You have a deal. Right. I'll meet you right up front. Thank you okay. much, sir. Thank you.